Now if this was a flat panel car, I'd use this big flat, this long flat block blocker. Uh, but this isn't a flat panel car. Each one of these, the, each door, front fender, and quarter panel has its own arch. So if I set a a um, a straight edge against there, at either end I'd be able to measure about an eighth of an inch. That's the arch of the door of each door and quarter panel and fender. So therefore, I use this block. Uh, this is a nine inch block and uh, it works well for this situation. And if I was sanding uh, to get the guide coat off, I'd be doing it wrong. I'm not sanding to get the guide coat off. I'm sanding to get the body straight and flat. And the guide coat shows me areas that are still low, like this here. This, this little area right here between this back edge of this door uh, and the rest of the door is a little low. So I just keep my block flat. I don't try to get in there to sand the primer out. I just keep on getting the door straight by keeping my block flat and sanding the block flat on the door. And eventually I will get that down to where it's smooth. That is if I've got my metal work right, and I've, I pretty much got it right on this car, so I got a good foundation that allowed me to, I've sanded this back quarter panel, and that allowed me to get it nice and flat. So now I'm moving up to the door on the inside where it's curved, and the long block will not work because it will not fit. I just use a little short block like this, and I set it in there, and I just roll along and sand like that, and I roll it as I sand like this in my hand. I gotta sand this anyway, so I could just put the sandpaper on my fingers like this and go like that. But it's not gonna give it the cut and the shape that the block will. So I gotta sand it anyway. I'm gonna put the block in there, sand it like this. That'll give it a nice, smooth, even curve. I use this block in areas like this where there's this curve, where the body has this curve here coming up to this fin so this block works well and I used it in here again rolling it as I went along while I sanded and then again here down by the wheelhouse this rear wheelhouse again this curve I use this block rolling it to make this curve here that comes out to this lip well I also have these other uh, th these are Hutchins blocks um, that I use uh, in depending on the curve of the area, you can see how this one is. All right, I've got the Chevy all block sanded down. I uh, um, with 150. So it's the first major block sanding after doing the metal and body work that the car has received. And I wanted to do it on the car. I wanted to do the block sanding with all the panels assembled so that I could just block across the panels uh, with a block so that they'd all have the nice, same, smooth, even surface as I sand it. Now, these doors, as I had said earlier, have an arch to them, and the fenders and the quarter panels, every panel on this car has an arch. So there, it's not like uh, later cars in the 60s and on where the sides were just a flat slab side. So uh, don't need to uh, block sand all the panels together for every stage of block sanding, but I wanted to have it for this first one. Okay, uh, now we got it, I got it guide coated. And uh, while I primed it, I, you know, that made it nice, the surface nice and glossy. And while it was glossy, I was able to look down the sides of it to see how it would look when it was painted because that gloss let me see any waves or dings or n nicks or things that may have been missed. Uh, and I was real happy with it. It looked real good. And uh, so now, now with a guide coat on it, I'm just going to leave it alone and not touch it for a few days and just let it dry and uh, work on other things. And then uh, once it's dried up a little bit, we can take that front clip off and the doors and the trunk off and paint it all in individual pieces.